Hello everyone, Wendy Ross for the USTA and Harness Racing Fan Zone. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in Lexington, Kentucky. The track is a little quieter today. Joining me here is this beauty, Julie Miller. <laughs> Julie, so nice to have you with us today. How has your time been so far in Lexington? It's always fun, right? Oh, if you can't have a good time in Lexington, you just can't have fun. I mean, it's a beautiful facility down here, you know, getting a jog and train and race on this track and the yearling sells, you know, it's just the beginning of the, of the next uh, crop, you know, so it's pretty exciting, Wendy. You are one of the busiest ladies running around here. When I got here Tuesday, I know it's business as usual. You're at the sale with your uh, with your husband, Andy. You guys are there. You have your sale book out. How many yearlings have we purchased to this point? Um, we've purchased 15 so far down here at Lexington. Um, you know, I, I love being down here, but yeah, it's, it's still a working vacation, I call it, you know, between the training in the morning, racing in the afternoon, and the sales at night. It's kind of like you go hit the repeat button from last year to this year. Take us back a little bit to 2018. You bought those, full, you bought those yearlings last year, and you just hope that they're out here making it to race as a two-year-old uh, the next fall, right? Absolutely, Wendy. I mean, like you said, it's, it's a marathon. You know, you, the gavel falls, you buy a yearling, you know, you hope you can keep it healthy and and it'll have some talent and make it to the races and then to have the icing on the cake you know when they come down here and and, and win the international bluegrass you know it's it's really rewarding and and it's uh i always told andy yesterday after a big oil race if i could bottle that feeling and just spray it on me every day it would be wonderful <laughs> now speaking of big oil a nice two-year-old colt that dead heated yesterday so congratulations yeah. on you, that but hey he wasn't a sale purchase he was a homebred tell us a little bit about the back story behind big oil yep uh, the Allens Ron Doug and Jason um, they had CBS who also was a stakes uh, world record winning Philly down here they uh, bred the mare uh, to Father Patrick we ended up being able to train for them so it makes it even more special when you train the mare and she wins in Lexington you bring her her offspring down here I mean it was a dead heat I think the the fans love watching that and the suspense now what do you have on tap for the rest of the week and it's Friday we have three <clears throat> more days of racing what do we have on tap for everyone uh, well, I have two in today. I have a two-year-old trot in Philly. Love a good story. Uh, she raced well last week. She won. Hopefully, we can repeat. Uh, the Bethanator is my two-year-old pace in Philly. She's coming out of the late closer. We're putting her uh, in the international. She's racing against the big girls today. I think she can step up and uh, compete with them. So we're looking forward to that. I do uh, have Union Forces. You do the 12 hole in the futurity. That should be an exciting race for all the fans. Well, Julie, we know you are so busy down here in Lexington, but what do you do? Is there any downtime? And if there is, what do you do during it? Well, you know what? There, there is. When I do have a little downtime and I kind of want to, like you say, hit the reset button, there's a great hot yoga place down here. I try to hit that a couple times uh, a week when we're here. One thing before I let you go, once again, thank you so much for being with me today, but it's a family-based operation for you and Andy. How long have you guys been together? And, and just what makes it happy uh, doing it every year? Uh, actually, Andy and I have been married, I think, I want to say 23 years, uh, you know, obviously together a few years before that. And, you know, when you have a passion for something like this, it just makes it more special. You know, when you do get to share it with your husband, my, my dad raised horses, my son Tyler, um, he graduates this year and he's going to join the family business. I hope he, uh, he, he loves training, he loves the driving. So, you know, it's, it's, it's fun when you do it as a family. Julie, thank you so much for being with us. We know you have a busy next couple days, and it's, we have three more great days of racing here in Lexington, Kentucky at this beautiful Red Mile. So make sure you can tune in and check out all the action.